Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back. Um, today is going to be another talking video and our next video is going to be you watching me doing some resin. Um, but today I just wanted to show you everything I've made up till now so you can see everything that's probably going to be on my website and you know that will be linked down below and just so you can see what I've been working on while I've been live on Bego um, and yeah I'm really excited to show you some of this stuff because it really truly is really really amazing for me to to just to look at even just to look at because I'm really not very confident with what I do and I just think that a lot I don't know if a lot of my things don't seem as good as I thought they they were going to turn out so I've been told they're good but I think some people are a bit biased <laughs> but um yeah maybe you could guys could comment and let me know what you think so first up I made some Harry Potter inspired coasters as you can see I absolutely love Harry Potter and these coasters are oh really who is that yeah so I absolutely love Harry Potter as you can see um and I made some house color inspired um some Harry Potter house coasters and they're just inspired by Harry Potter they they don't hold any brands or anything but obviously everyone knows what the colors are for the houses so I just thought well why don't I just do some coasters that are like the two colors mixed together and they actually came out really really good um the Slytherin one I'm not so keen on but you know Slytherin's not my house so I don't mind <laughs> so we have gold and red it's just really nice swirled and they're quite thick as well and then we've got this is my favorite shape <laughs> we've got Ravenclaw it's still the two colors gold um sorry blue and bronze like I said they're just inspired by they're not anything to do with them but I do love them and we have Hufflepuff another gorgeous yellow and black one um and yeah this is the Slytherin one it's come out more silver than green but I think I know what I did wrong there so fingers crossed if I do them again I know how to fix my mistake <laughs> um but yeah you can see that there's not a lot of green although on here it's as you can see green and silver but here on the front it's um yeah <laughs> it's just silver so you know guys never mind it happens okay i've made some other coasters um sorry i thought they were out here um this one to begin with um I wonder what I could put behind it. <laughs> I'm not doing very well this video. Um, let's a little, put a little bit of tissue behind it. So it's got like an orange um, like fur leaf thing and it looks really good. Um, just some dried flowers that I bought that look really cool. I just bought some random boxes of stuff and that was in there. We've got the flower one again. Um, there is a little bit of damage on the bottom because where I was letting them cure um my husband dropped something on there and didn't get it off so it's got a dent in but it doesn't affect its use it still uses really well you know you can still use it it's all good <laughs> we have this this blue flower one we got um the hexagon it's a hexagon shape and it's really really gorgeous um it came out that these came out so crystal clear as well they were one of my first things i made and i absolutely love them um this is not what i expected either because i didn't put as much resin in as i should and i didn't know that you could go in and put extra resin on the top so maybe at some point i will fix this and put some more resin on so the flowers aren't sticking out i don't know if you can see but um 
I'll see if I can, you can actually see how the flowers are sticking up out the bottom. So, I mean, it doesn't affect its use. It still is usable, just a little bit wobbly, but um, I will fix that, I think. I think that's what I'll do. I will fix that. Um, and as I got into resin making a lot more, I wanted to make shiny things. And this next coaster is going to be one of my new ranges, I guess. But it's black glitter with silver tinsel glitter. Now, I spent all day trying to figure out what this tinsel was called. I tried shards, I tried slithers, I tried uh, specks, but no, nothing came up. But when I went live on Bego, within 10 minutes, someone had found it. Big, out, big shout out to Simon there. Thank you so much for helping me find what this glitter is called so thank you for helping me <laughs> find what this glitter is called um i thank you from the bottom of my heart um but yeah you can see it's black with the silver tinsel glitter Whoops. oops which now i know it's called but yeah it is so so beautiful you can see it and it is actually a little bit see-through because there is no color on this on this um coaster it's just glitter so we used black glitter with silver glitter <laughs> glitter with more glitter so you know that's pretty cool um i wanted to try a different color to see if it would work and we tried pink loads of you will know that pink is my favorite color so we did pink with the silver and I think I bit, put a bit too much of the silver in and it's come out really nice and shiny and I love it. I want to keep this one for myself um, because that, in my opinion, there's a bit too much of the silver in there, as you can see. But um, it's still so beautiful. And as I said, there's no colour in it, so you can still see through it a little bit as well. So it's just glitter on glitter again. And I mean, what more is there in life than glitter? I mean, <laughs> there's so much you can do with it. Um, right, so the next thing, we ha I've made a lot of bag charms. Uh, uh, bag charms or key rings, they're the same kind of thing. Um, but... There's always resin left over. So I always make these little shapes up. There's like a mixture on there. And they'll be on my website as like, just like scatter charms or something like that. And then I made rainbow baggies up as well. Because this is a rainbow heart baggie. Because we've been making lots of rainbow hearts. We've got rainbow gummy bear charms. Um... Those are going to be sold as charms rather, or, or well, you can make them whatever you want into them. And then this bag is full of mold, different shapes. There's squares, circles, triangles, and diamonds in the shapes in this bag. So there's all different colours. There's um, some with like little um, scatter things in, and they just look stunning. They really, really do. Um, I've made, we've made them. Well, I say I have made, but I mean, I make them online for everybody uh, while I'm online with everybody. Um, so it's kind of, I'm making them, but everybody's making them at the same time. So I'm just trying to, <laughs> just trying to untangle them a little bit. I don't even know why they're tangled up, to be honest. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just, I don't even know why they've gone like it, to be honest, but there we are. Never mind what has happened here. Uh, that needs to come there. Right, so, yes. <laughs> now that that has, uh, now that I've finished, um, you know, messing around with that, um, I can show you these necklaces that I have made that are absolutely stunning. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of these, which means uh, I should have two necklaces left. Yeah, I have two necklaces left before I need to order some more. Um, but we have this uh, Gryffindor inspired one. So if I hold it up a bit, 
should be able to yep yeah, there you go it's focusing no it's not focusing in on me I need it to hang on yeah, there we go so yeah that's a Gryffindor inspired one um, that's the back um, that is the front <laughs> I'm not doing very well, am I? Um, but I, you know, I've not really shown my stuff before. Not like this. I just show it live while I'm on Bego. So that's one. And then we've got we've got this one too. Is it going to? Is it going to focus? There we go. Well, you can sort of see it there. I don't know. It's a bit of a pain, but that's the same shape, just a um, black sparkly, as you can see, I had some of the black sparkly glitter left. Um, so I, you know, I used that to make some of these charms. I have a marbled effect, which is really nice. You can wear it either way, I think, to be honest, because both sides look really stunning. I have to try and move my head out of the way. But yeah, so that's that one. Um, I have one more in that shape actually. So if I put that one at the front then. So. And this is one of my favorite ones. It's like my first kind of marbled thing. It's a blue, pink and purple and it came out really, really well. I'm quite happy with most of the ones that I try to marble, but um, I do struggle, like I say, with how I think things have come out. This is yellow colouring with pink stars. I think it's come out really, really well. Um, and I have some key rings of that too, which I, I'm not sure if I've made up yet. Yeah, I have actually. Um, and then we've got like another marbled one, but that's more of a dome look, you can see. Um, but yeah, it's still gorgeous. And I mean, all of the things I love, I wouldn't ever sell anything I didn't really like. Um, I have the pink flower in resin attached to the charm which is really gorgeous and then we did the same with an orange rose i made as well which is good is it gonna focus probably i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's they're they're just really stunning it's like the same as this it's the same kind of flower as this but it's like in resin so so I was just trying to say just trying to make sure you can see it I'm looking at the viewfinder to make sure it's um, focusing so yeah and I will apologize for my spot guys I keep picking it and I think it's this lockdown thing driving me crazy I'm not 100% sure but yeah so I'm really sorry about that guys <laughs> we have done obviously I ha already have some glass beads and stuff but obviously I make the bear so we've got the green bear and some little green gummy bears with lots of different green beads and they just look really gorgeous and it makes this is like for a bag that you use probably every now and again because otherwise it will um it might break quite easily if you are using it every day and you know pulling it around or your kids get hold of it and you pull it around then and i mean i know what my kids are like so move that over um i did make <laughs> We made a rainbow gummy bear keyring with a heart charm on the bottom as well. These are, like I say, said in my last video, these are, I'm just charging minimal amount for them just so I could get the money back for the crafts with a little bit of profit that I can give to a PTSD charity, um, which I think is definitely the way I want it to go. Um, I did it for all these key rings but we'll see them in a minute i don't want to show the key rings too i do make the gummy bears into earrings as well this is like one pair of earrings that you'll see to go with a bracelet that i made there we go like a translucent pink and a gold they come out really really well um but yeah, you had a little sneaky peek at my keyrings there, but that's okay. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. Um, 
yeah there's so many here it's like craziness <laughs> we've got so many more in this little box so yeah um talking about the bear charms that i've made like the green one on the back charm um let me just make sure i've got more that so we've got a pink one i don't know if you can see it we have orange we have this is one i really like it's clear resin with gold and silver stars and little gold and silver glitter balls really really cute um like that we've got a purple one We've got a dark blue one, which I absolutely love. The colour is just, it's like a shimmery, a shimmery blue, which makes it look even better. We've got gold. We've got, oh, this is just glitter as well. It's just blue glitter. I mean, look at it, gorgeous. It's like a laying down bear, but look how sparkly and shiny it is. Just stunning. And then we have another of the pink ones. So yeah we have lots of those um i have made a couple of little bookmarks this one is like a sparkly heart one it's double sided as well because i put some of the colors both sides like facing each way took a little while to get them into position but they came out amazing I, i'm really proud of how that one came out and obviously i finished it off with some like little pink tassely string but yeah it's really gorgeous and then we have our houses house inspired ones again for um harry potter inspired bookmark we have gryffindor ravenclaw hufflepuff and slytherin and it is both sided because it's obviously um on both sides so it i really love this one i want to just keep all the harry potter stuff for myself but i know i can't <laughs> um as well as that rainbow bear keyring i showed you rainbow hearts earlier and we've done a rainbow heart um keyring with a butterfly charm on it it's just gorgeous the the rainbow stuff has come out really really nice as well that's a keyring a keyring yeah we've got like lots of gummy bear earrings we have um I've made this gorgeous bracelet I mean this is a bracelet but I am going to do some anklets as well but it's got like the translucent pink and the gold that I showed you on them earrings and it just looks stunning on the gold chain so these are all going to be going on my website um, as well um, these are the, some of the first key rings I've made um, the other ones I think are a little bit better ones one I'm not really that happy with because I think it's a bit mix, mix and match but we'll see we'll see how things go um, but yeah we have ooh, glitter one yellow orange and pink we have a spotty one and then we have purple blue and red glitter on that one so we have a gryffindor inspired bag charm the key ring we have this i would just show you these with some music behind them and i think you can kind of guess what they are from like the houses i'm not sure if i'll put music on actually and then we got this one Hufflepuff. I'm filming. What's up? Um, Dad told me to come and ask you. Can I have this? What is it? Yeah. Because he's having to ask just in case you wanted it. Yeah, no, it's okay. Right, this key ring, I done um, a key ring with all four of the houses on. So we've got the Gryffindor the Hufflepuff, Slytherin and the Ravenclaw so all four houses are on this one all four and it looks really oh sorry it looks really cute um I'm just separating the kids bag charms because I've got some for kids I've got that I think would be perfect for kids bag charms 
uh, like backpacks and stuff um and then we've got some the glittery ones that are like the coasters and stuff we're not too much like the coasters but yeah so these are the kids bag charms uh we've got we've got flowers let's see I've, I've got to try and make my head in the right place but flowers we have hearts with butterfly we got orange and little multicolored balls and we got red with red butterflies we got blue and purple and we've got orange and yellow so then I tried putting flowers in coloured resin but it didn't really come out right but I think they're still lovely so as you can see they are gorgeous they still come out and you can still see the flowers so you know that's all good um, we have like dried flower keeping oh why did I not show you that before? A Slytherin keyring, obviously. They're inspired. They're not actual, like, proper Harry Potter stuff. They're just, just from my brain, from their colours, and, yeah. So, they're just inspired by Harry Potter. Because I love Harry Potter so much, so. Alright, this is the one I wasn't sure on. Because it's just, like, a mix match of all the, some like of different charms that i've done in there it's like a it's a really nice bag charm it's got like a scatter things in it's got a yellow one with texture on it because the balls are coming out which i really like there's a ravenclaw inspired one there's orange and then there's this yellow resin with the stars again which is really cute i love that one so apart from the fact they're all mixed and matched the little charms themselves i all love um but yeah, so I'm in this, you know, I was talking about this where there's so much, many little different shapes and stuff that I use excess resin for. I make, I made these little, three little elephants and put them in a keychain like that. There's a lot of bubbles in there, but I'm getting a tool to help stop my bubbles. And then I used all the teardrop shape charms, whether they're glittery, marbled or solid colour to just go with that and I think it really looks lovely with the resin elephants and then these are all the sparkly ones I did I had this day where I was obsessed with making sparkly things and every time I made a sparkly colour I wanted to do a different sparkly colour so I just made all of the sparkly colours I had. And there was so much sparkle. It was my favourite day of making stuff ever. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll show you next. But I do have to show you this one. Because this one... This one has got another couple of little elephants in, you can see. And then they've got all the oval charms that I've made. Um, stop clear with blue stars you've got like a Gryffindor type one then you've got green and pink but then this one has got like a little 3d heart in that I made as well as you can see from the side it's beautiful so there's another elephant and shaped oval shaped um bag keeping there but yeah, so these sparkly ones are my favourite ones ever. So we've got green and red together. Ah. <laughs> we have... You can see just how many is on my finger right now. Um, we have silver and pink. We have oranges and lemons <laughs> said the bells of St Clemens <laughs> lovely and we have another one but different shapes 
we have red and white together. It's a really cute one. We have ooh, black and white together, which is one of my favourites. So as you can see, we use the black glitter with um, the silver shards and then we just have white glitter with white holographic shards which oh my god they're so gorgeous they just reflect the light so much and then we have gold and silver obviously we have blue and red just so sparkly and lovely and then this one pink and purple they're just so gorgeous they are they really are i do have some more charms left there's like a little round one with pink stars but for now that's all i'm gonna show you um they'll all be on my website um most of them already are some will be at some point very soon um but i just want to thank you all for watching Make sure you subscribe and like the video and yeah, just take care of yourself guys. I'll see you on Bego soon and hopefully we will have a making video next time as soon as my resin is here. So I love you all loads guys. Um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Curvy Catherine UK. Um, follow me on Bego, that's my ID on Bego too, Curvy Catherine UK. And yeah, my uh, Facebook group with all my crafts on is Curvy's Creations. So please make sure you follow me and we'll have all have fun together. So I love you all loads guys. Mwah. Till next time. Bye.